Good morning, class. How are you? You're watching What in the Morning. It's time for Mind Crash Monday. It's the 17th day of February. I don't know why people are not talking about Valentine's anymore. I don't know why people are not talking about Valentine's anymore. In fact, Sylvia is going to be a job for six years and she's going to be a job. Why aren't you asking me now? Why aren't you asking me? At White Five on Facebook, at White Five on channel on Twitter, hashtag is Why in the Morning. Now, today's topic is very sensitive, so we must uh, handle it with care, okay? And I ask that your comments and queries or questions please be respectful and as, as, as diplomatic as we possibly can be. Sawa, hey, please, this is just a personal cry for help, please. My name is Valentine or at Kalami Val, but I am not the important one here. The important ones are my panelists. Hello, guys. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Uh, how, how was your good name, sir? You're a new face. What's your name? I'm George. Uh, use your mic, sir. There I'm George. Uh -huh. uh, George Kamau. Mm -hmm. I studied at the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. and I'm um, partaking in journalism. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, happy to be here. You're so jolly. I like your spirit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where can we find you on social media? Um, on Facebook mm -hmm. and um, George Kamau mm -hmm. on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. and um, I only love those two platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So you're a hard man to find, eh? A hard man to find. So we are privileged to have you on the show. Very good. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> we'll we are so. Ah, 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 ah. Since we're here, Jiseme. Good morning, mommy. Good morning. You look very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm Ryle Joshua. Ryle Obenge, Miss Obenge. Oh, all those are my names. I'm a student of political science. Mm -hmm. We're happy to have you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Look very spiffy. I like your shoes. Thank you. <laughs> what is your good name? Benjamin Zulu. Mm -hmm. Social media Benjamin Zulu KE. Mm -hmm. But I know to ask you after we finish. Yes, yes, so we are going that. to cover the chapter mm -hmm. with uh, social media handles once again. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, today's topic uncle, is very, very sensitive. Can I even just start with <coughs> the, the one who is a bit more level headed than all of us? How do we even attack this, Manzi? Like, it's, is it part of our culture? Is it something that came with people from the West? Is it something that has just been discovered now? Has it been happening and no one has been saying anything? Why are we finding cases of, of intimate um, relationships between extended family members? Are two problems. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, when you when you think incest, don't confuse it with other two related cousin problems, mm -hmm. like defilement. Mm -hmm. There are people who defile children. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is another one of you know a, a father taking advantage of a step daughter. Yes, mm -hmm. and that is more rampant. Somewhere I will mention more about it, but in my practice, it comes mm -hmm. up a lot. Now, incest is consensual sex between adults who are related mm -hmm. by blood mm -hmm. and the problem with, uh, with 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 incest is that mm -hmm. it's a taboo in our culture we don't talk about it mm -hmm. if it happened and you say it people start looking at you funny mm -hmm. instead of feeling for you in fact they blame the victim yes it's your fault so that's why mm -hmm. and in our christian saturated culture mm -hmm. You must not say a bad thing happened to you mm -hmm. and you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. Lest you make God look bad, oh make church gosh. look bad. Oh my God. Your testimony is not intact. Can't you just believe and pray it? Oh. So we use our Christianity not to heal wounds but mm -hmm. to hide them. Mm -hmm. And it's terrible. It's high time now mm -hmm. we make these conversations welcome to the victims so that you can heal them. Mm -hmm. We have so many people, I can't tell you how many clients I try to heal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and this person, all they needed was a listening ear. Mm -hmm. I asked them, they tell them I couldn't talk to mom. Mm -hmm. She was looking the other way when this thing was happening. Mm -hmm. We had no relationship where she would ask me. One predator, really, uh, who was a pedophile, mm -hmm. preying on children, was asked when he was uh, in prison, mm -hmm. how would identify victims? And he said, I would ask the child, the girl, whether they talk about sexual issues with the mom or dad. If the answer is no, pap. Oh, that's the solution for mothers and parents is uh, simple. Talk. Make conversation. Make it ordinary to talk about it. 
But we're Africans, Daktari. As in, we, we can't even talk about our own body parts. Yani kusema tu kuna nuna, kuna nini. As in, we, we, we can't voice it. How many cases have we had? Was it, it wasn't last year, it was the year before. And I keep referring to that crazy incident where you find students, pupils, pupil ni primary, pupil is getting pregnant from teacher. How? And you know, that's supposed to be the safest place in the world for a student. What's going on there? We are in Africa, but I think we also need to begin to liberate our minds mm -hmm. from those cultures that don't help us. Mm -hmm. Because we have traditions that help and we have traditions that don't help. Mm -hmm. We need to begin using traditions that help. Mm -hmm. If the tradition of secrecy and tabooness is not talking about topics has been hurting people, mm -hmm. isn't it time for those of us who are enlightened mm -hmm. to wake up and begin having those conversations? Mm -hmm. So let's not lay back on being African, then we continue hurting. Mm -hmm and letting our young ones be exposed to problems. So I, I invite all of us now, who are now enlightened, mm -hmm. to make these conversations normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think being African should not be blamed on this. Mm -hmm. Because back then, mm -hmm. when we had our grandparents, mm -hmm. we had lessons, life lessons, mm -hmm. from the grandparents to the grandchildren, where you found ladies who are secluded mm -hmm. with their grandmothers, maybe their aunties, and then the boys, were also with their grandfathers learning different things and back then you would hear someone telling you if you had sex before marriage mm -hmm. you'll get married off to some old man in the village someone that you personally get ashamed of getting married off to mm -hmm. you know so culturally mm -hmm. these things were condemned mm -hmm. incest was nowhere I think it was nowhere in the picture. Now these things comes with the Western culture, mm -hmm. where you find like someone tells you, and, and now that we think we, we can hold things secret, mm -hmm. someone tells you like, the blood ties are not so close, mm -hmm. not that thick that we can't have sex, you know. Mm -hmm. You have a cousin from your mom's side, and Anna Kombia, or you always see where to mm -hmm. like you, you're not from my father's side, so it's not like, we can't do this. And then incest is mostly consensual. Mm -hmm. You give consent and you go ahead, mm -hmm. and then you keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. Culturally, this would be noticed when you lose your virginity, mm -hmm. and towards marriage you get punished. Mm -hmm. And African, the African way of handling this, I think, was better. Mm -hmm. It was better. Don't talk about fornication yet. Incest was almost out of question, apart from those who had mental disorders, and mm -hmm. that was rape, not even incest. But this comes with now, mm -hmm. like right now, you know, the daddy's girls, mm -hmm. we have the way we are brought up in, the fa in our respective families. People get aligned. How you talk to your mom sometimes differs from how you talk to your father. So you get to find that I'm more close to my mom mm -hmm. or more close to my dad mm -hmm. compared to the other parent. That is if you're brought up with two parents. Mm -hmm. So you find you're close to one compared to the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fa in the father-daughter case most of the time, mm -hmm. you can open up to your father or there are things you can't share with your father. Mm -hmm. Just love your father as a parent. It is, it is normal. Mm -hmm. But it comes to a point where, mm -hmm. talk of a stepdaughter, your mom got married when you're already there. Alikuja kama mescore goal moja kakuja kwanza game with one goal. Wait, wait. That's a lady. <laughs> so you come to, you, you get to a marriage with that guy. <laughs> And then your stepfather becomes your father, mm -hmm. becomes your boyfriend, Ooh. and you start having sex. Now, they're not going to call that incest mm -hmm. because you don't share blood ties. Mm -hmm. It's your mom that is here and you came with mm -hmm. your mother. And this is where the problems begin. This is already a family. This is incest. Mm -hmm. It's not blood ties, but how we relate socially. Mm -hmm. Once we become a family, like in that setting where your mom is married to that guy, that is incest. Okay. Our African culture couldn't just take this. Kitambo, mwanamke yupi alikuwa na walewa na mtoto? They were George, there. I, I have a question for you. Nimona yeah. mim flani, and and a guy be like, mm, they tell me sijui kutamani cousin yangu ni kitumbaya. I love my cousins. Sasa cousins kwa tano na katuriana biose sijui sijui little mas sijui who. So ni sisi shida ama what's going on? I'll say we're really ignorant, mm -hmm. and ignorance is never justifiable. 
and I'll say it is that we are faking things and we are trying to react to things the way they're not supposed to be reacted mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. You know, we are making fun out of a very serious case, mm -hmm. very serious uh, elements of our life. And I'll say that, you see, it came from the Western culture. Mm -hmm. They brought it and then they went back to their, to their homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this disease that they brought, mm -hmm. it, uh, over the years, it grew slowly and slowly. Mm -hmm. And you see, that's why right now, People see it as a very small thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a big issue. It's not a major issue. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that, okay, there's one guy who once said, Westmark, that uh, a psychological hypothesis that if people are brought up together mm -hmm. in a, a domestic proximity, mm -hmm. close, that they end up to be desensitized mm -hmm. uh, in terms of sexual attraction. Mm -hmm. But this isn't real because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes things that we have been exposed to Today, I, I, I was one time with my mom and dad mm -hmm. and we were just seated mm -hmm. and I realized the kind of a movie we were watching, all of us, <laughs> it was a crazy movie. Mm -hmm. And then in between, in the middle of the movie, they see it so crazy, mm. so the parents leave and then we are left and my sister, we are watching this movie. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes so many things run in your mind mm -hmm. and uh, I'll say this is one of the causes that leads to that and that's why you see people it's not a big issue for someone to put in a social media that uh, it, I'll, I will desire my cousins because they're amazing. They just look nice. So it's a, it's a thing that's uh, generally over the years it's growing and it's really going to affect us one time in life. And so if we do not solve it today, mm -hmm. tomorrow it will be as normal as any other thing. I have so many things to say, but let me throw it back to Dr. Yes. If I might just take from your psychology, mm -hmm. there is such a thing called the Oedipus complex, mm -hmm. where uh, a young boy, is it? It's a young boy yes. when he... Attracted to the mother, the it's, girl. It's, it's, the mm -hmm. it's, it's not really, it doesn't start out like that. It starts out normally as affections, but then he starts realizing he's a guy, and then he looks at his mother in a certain way, and then he starts finding his father as as someone to compete with for his mother's affection. Mm -hmm. That story by day doesn't end well. So <laughs> a child out deep us and his complex. But I would like to believe that Tari. Vene tuko sai to Mehamia Nairobi kwenda ocha ni Christmas. Is it our fault that we don't know who our cousins are? Is it partly our fault we don't know our family? Because when you are kuzo, you might even just be living with your cousin and you don't know. Not because you are ignorant, I mean you are choosing to ignore that this person is your family member. You might actually for real truly have no idea that you are from the same place simply because our roots, we are not going back to them. That's very true. There's a disintegration of society. There's a, a, very girl, big one. There was a girl I was trying to date and my pastor proved that mm. she was my cousin. See? You see? And I felt Aha. the disappointment. Aha. You were trying to But he didn't know. So, <laughs> so uh, I think we have to blame the disintegration of society. Mm -hmm. But Val, much as we are talking about cousins, I don't find them the biggest cause of our bother. Mm -hmm. Because the thing that causes pain in our society mm -hmm. is not the consensual sex between adults. Mm -hmm. It's 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 what we are saying. It's not the perpetrator of incest, mm -hmm. but the victim of it. Mm -hmm. Many times, it's uh, even the church. I told you the problems when we are we are, we are saying taboo traditions and religion and church. We we usually preach prohibiting the doing, mm -hmm. so that we are saying don't commit this sin. Mm -hmm. But we don't address the one who has been sinned against. Mm -hmm. So I want to address those who have been uh, victims of this and now they're sitting there with guilt because it brings a lot of guilt. If you grew up and you're this, you've been. Um, it can be consensual, but you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> Let's assume you are What 18. if you do? What if it's consensual? You're very aware that this person is a member of your family, but you still go ahead to do it, but in secret. That kind of brings light to a little bit of shame <laughs> that you're feeling because you're hiding it. So you're if you're feeling the it. shame, find a way to process it. Mm -hmm. And if you're already out moved, if you're already moved out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Remember while we're operating from these premises, we, we have no authority to regulate what two consenting adults do in their private life. Sana sana in the dark. 
<laughs> thank mm-hmm. you <laughs> so sana, because sana, they are protected sana. by law mm. we are not going to get into there mm-hmm. we are only helping those who are coming out with the pain shame guilt confusion mm-hmm. out of what went on mm-hmm. and many times the instance is because the person you grew up with they were close to you and i've told you i have many cases of stepdaughters especially uliolewa vile alikuwa anasema misobenge kwamba you came with mom mm-hmm. then this man here mm-hmm. and many times mothers look the other way or oh, they were so desirous to be in a marriage that they don't want to put you know boundaries oh and and, and, and protect yeah. the daughter mm-hmm. and the daughters grow up damaged mm-hmm. i'm having so many of them now and the betrayal by mother is the fiercest you can ever is the most painful betrayal mm-hmm. for any child mm-hmm. when mommy is supposed to protect you then they look the other way mm-hmm. uh, for their own reasons or for some then you're taking advantage of uh, and many problem the girls who are abused they end up marrying abusers because abuse is common and is what they, they know, know. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and and sort of their doors their their, their, their psychological walls are collapsed mm-hmm. they don't have self esteem and boundaries and standards and respect and rules mm-hmm. of how to be treated so what we can what i can help with if you have ever experienced incest somewhere growing up mm-hmm. You might have been the lesser party or you might have been equals. If you are equals and, and there's no shame and no problem, now people may never know about it. Okay. <laughs> But if a baby comes up, mm-hmm. that child now becomes the, the recipient of shame, you mm-hmm. know? At the, and, and, and you know there's, there's biological consequences eh? mm-hmm. when people are um, they in breeding among the genetics yeah. yes can something be, can <laughs> yes can be dangerous mm-hmm. can be difficult and so that the, the weaknesses eh? mm-hmm. the problems and all that but if if it's a person who came up with shame that's a person i want to invite mm-hmm. to talk to a therapist and what we said the other day let's help other young people that it's no more to talk to a psychologist that's like seeing a dentist mm-hmm. just like seeing a normal doctor mm-hmm. there's no shame at all it's in going to people. a private room to discuss you in fact mm-hmm. you are safe with a therapist that means a friend some friends can betray you you give them so much of your inside information that they can they can use it against you should you fall out ask me i know thank you mm. in case you fall out that person knows so much mm-hmm. even when you're dating i told people this campus dating take it as experiment don't pour out your heart mm. your information what happened what you want to hear <laughs> There's a guy who used to date oh. this girl and when they broke up <laughs> when they broke up yeah. and this girl wanted to hit back at him <laughs> because she has left him siku moja akapatana na huyu jamaa na rafiki yake just two guys <laughs> but sasa kamchongoa in front of the other guy game yako iko chini sana ah ah oh no nakona kwa maana he came to see me 10 years later crushed by those words 10 years yes. later That's what campus now is a professional but he can't perform he is depressed is when you when you insult a man's sexuality you have touched the softest part when man umo ina gani hata gani yako i shoot where do you draw the confidence to say that for 10 years late me i'm on 10 years so that thing has been eating inside 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 things affect men so they damage when you attack his sexuality when you attack his intelligence mhm Usirudi kuita mwanume idiot. Hmm. Tafadhali it looks like a joke. Na venye wasano unapenda kusema wewe ni dinga. Eh unafikiria aje? It comes from a person we who does not know me from inside. Hmm. I can deflect it. Mm-hmm. But if it's a girl we have been intimate with. People can believe her. Ujamaa vile mwanao ni mfala sana. And then the other idea is should not affect a man. You should not uh, is his 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 charisma, his attractiveness. Usi and be mtu etu na bo, you and all that. If it's a person you care about. You know we throw these words carelessly in the air in our conversations. We have forgotten how damaging they can be. And some of us and I want to ask us that uh, George, your self esteem is not a set quality. Your self esteem is not as like your height. It is just there. It fluctuates with the social situations. It yeah. fluctuates with where you are, seasons of your life. Many times you need to be and I tell people the only solution to your self esteem because it's like your weight, the way you watch your weight, <laughs> or the way you watch how you are. Check the people who you hang around whether they need you away at your uh, your self confidence eh? by putting you down. So to maintain your self esteem high, always be around people who affirm who you are. And and, and, and if you, you feel like you want to share something that happened to you and it is shameful, mm. look for a person you can trust. Don't always feel like I need to talk alafu ile mtu anakuja kuambia ujani ujaongea then unamfungulia moyo wote. Let's cut out and kuambia can you say ma? Oh my god it's been such a long time let's catch up. Hiyo ni code for tell me because people need to know what's happening to you and I don't have information. Very Sawa. Good. Yeah, that's what happens. You should not as mm-hmm. you catch up don't pour out your heart just to anyone. Mm-hmm. And I tell people today counselors are very accessible on phone. I can cancel you from the privacy of your room mm-hmm. and I can help you rise from that darkness. Mm-hmm. And and well, let's also tell ukiona rafiki yako ameanza kuongea na mwizi, ameacha kuongea na mwizi draw. Mm-hmm. Let's stop telling depressed people to reach out. Depression prevents you from reaching out. Mm-hmm. The last person who ever reach out is a depressed person. But how do we help you then? Betrayal most of the time. How do yes. we help you then if, if it's difficult to reach it out? It is us to reach out. The ones who are not depressed, mm-hmm. are the ones to reach out to the depressed person.
While all survivors of depression, and all of us have been through depression, sometimes depression is short-lived, you call it temporary. Mm -hmm. After a loss, after, especially heartbreak, most mm -hmm. of us have been baptized <laughs> in heartbreak. There's <laughs> but, more than that, girl. Okay. So, when you realize that your friend is withdrawn, it, mm -hmm. they could be now waking up from the fact that that incest took away their innocence. Mm -hmm. They could be waking up for the, to the fact that somebody violated them, mm -hmm. and they, they wonder that the world will understand them. Mm -hmm. Actually, many people you see drinking alcohol, smoking, indulging many bad things mm -hmm. they're trying to anesthesia they are trying to numb mm -hmm. to numb that you know that guilt that and i saw a girl smoking furiously mm -hmm. you know we were upstairs and she was down there <laughs> but she was she was smoking she was you know <laughs> suffo suffocating <laughs> all of us supplying <laughs> 10 of us Seriously? with more than smoke we could stand and she's alone with a lot of you know smoking you know you feel it's a generator oh. you know <laughs> throwing oh. and I, I, could tell them, I see anxiety oh, i see depression oh. i see pain oh. this is not a Baby. cigar She's looking for something to numb that f and then even her dressing was just outrageous. And it's like she's saying, mm -hmm. You know, your dressing says a statement. Yeah. You dressing says a statement. You know, you're walking on the road. You know? <laughs> and sometimes I tell people, when you look in the mirror, the mirror, the mirror tells you what the world will see. The oh. mirror is an object to help you correct <laughs> mistakes to avoid being ridiculed yeah. or to avoid sending the wrong message. If you dress, even your walking gesture, always has a message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can walk in a mother says, leave me alone, you know, <laughs> get out of my way, <laughs> you know, or you can walk in a way that says, hey, look, I'm confident. Mm -hmm. I know these girls, the day they are feeling down, so esteem we had just said is not a set straight, it reflects it. There true. are days that you are feeling down. Mm. When you're feeling down, then you dress well and people are liking the way you're dressed, but you don't feel beautiful today, you remove that dress. Mm -hmm. You will change. But if you're feeling like this, you want to dress where you're feeling. So girls don't just dress like this, they dress where they are. It's a, it's a, it's a mood. So you, when you see a person has started dressing dull, and usually they are active. Mm. When start, even their hair, they have stopped like putting out, putting, you know, this could be a person who's waking up now from like an incest abuse when they were young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And many times it's the guys who insist, who, who initiate incest sex. It just happens with the older ladies to a young boy. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay, let me let me ask you a question. Is it possible that another reason why maybe someone would opt to consent is they feel safe because cousin ni family, cousin you know your cousin, possibly you know them, you've grown up with them, possibly unamjua, maybe unogopa, I don't want to say unogopa heartbreak ama kutanganywa, but you know, Safe is always better. Kwa familiarity, juzi ya miliambia, they were playing on the sofa set. Apo kwa familiarity, hey, sana, sana, that's the word I was talking familiarity, they were in the sofa set. But George, do you think that's a factor? Would that make you feel a little bit more confident in kukatea your cousin? Just because unamjua ni mtu mpoa, hanaga kierere, na mkifanya tu once, hata enda kuambia kila mtu, so nisawa tu. Mfunga tu macho. Okay, to me, I'll never say it's a good thing to do, mm -hmm. because actually most of the time, we feel the depression after we have the, the, the action is done. Mm -hmm. Before the action, we are so comfortable, we are normal, and we really don't know what's most likely to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that before you do anything, you must uh, like get to know what is the most likely outcome mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it may be looking so nice before and then, mm -hmm. and then after the, 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 the incident and the action, you can't really carry this. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that no matter how safe it is with the guy mm -hmm. or with the, with, the, with the other partner, it doesn't really matter as much. The fact that you people know you're a family, it's important to respect that boundary. Mm -hmm. Because family boundaries, they are very <coughs> important. Mm -hmm. From sense, from science perspective, it's important to know that people coming from the same ancestral origin mm -hmm. and doing all this stuff, it's very crazy because it can affect your uh, the, the generation coming. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine that uh, most of the families we share names. Mm -hmm. Like for example, my Kamau name, if I go right now back to Nyeri, mm -hmm. there are so many Kamau. Mm -hmm. You can imagine having this with your cousin and then uh, both of your names are traced to a common origin mm -hmm. and then you guys don't know even how to name this kid because the kid has come mm -hmm. and uh, you see the funniest thing is we can hide this because right now we are doing it and no one can see mm -hmm. but sometimes we are so blindfold that we do things then the outcome is crazy mm -hmm. uh, there is pregnancy issues mm -hmm. and all that now we cannot hide it anymore mm -hmm. and so we have to face this and it's so real and uh, our parents now get to know and uh, we have to fight this and sometimes we cannot get out of that. So I'll always say that 
and uh, the biggest cause of all this mm -hmm. just like you studied it all mm -hmm. is that there is no awareness mm -hmm. parents are not taking these things as serious for example why are you son, blaming parents i don't yeah, like it no you're old enough to be a parent are you not personally mm -hmm. i blame uh -uh. on them because of one thing no i have been brought up we under, don't blame parents since, here personally i'll say they are playing a very big role on the way things are right now mm -hmm. you can imagine I can think, but you see, the fact that I was introduced to this system uh -huh. and I'm thinking within this system, Basi, I cannot go. If you argue, no, wait, if you argue like this, Basi mm. mwenye hana mzazi, mwenye what are you trying to say about no, that? I'll say yeah. this. I'll say are we this. living in different worlds? Uh, are now our rules different from theirs because as we have parents? I'll say uh, uh, no, just answer yes or no. No, it's Thanks. Miss Ombeg, I have a question uh, for you. Uh, it's different. Question? Yes, I do have a question for mm -hmm. you. I want you to imagine yourself in a scenario where you're, you're, you're very close to your cousin, okay? Like your friends. Like me, me, me zoyana, me onana utotoni, you've grown up, you've gone to campus, different campuses. Like maybe, let's say even you lost a family member, you guys were there for each other. Then somewhere along the line, cousin yako ananza kukuangalia ka dem instead of ka cousin. Na ananza kudrop drop my hands. Na uni mtu mezoyana hadi unenda kwake. Like to chill. Alafu unenda kwako. Ama kitukayo, ama family gatherings. You know when you're waiting for your favorite cousin to come so you can hang out. That ka feeling. Yeah. Hey, so that kind of cousins, kumoja tu akwangalie some type of way. What would you your response? I take to? it back to friends. Mm -hmm. Like friends are friends until they hint their feelings. Mm -hmm. That is, if you have male friends, that's when you start asking yourself, now what is what is even wrong with him? Now with cousins, it's a little bit different because you share blood ties, mm -hmm. and it gets to a point where you start. Uh, okay. Sometimes you say the feeling of being safe with your cousin because you fear heartbreaks and mm -hmm. all that. But I don't take it that way. The church condemns incest. What do they do after it has happened? Mm -hmm. After it is brought to their attention that the cousins are having sex, there's nothing they'll do. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they condemn it before mm. the act. But after, and that's why, or mm -hmm. they punish. Mm -hmm. You know when you're punished for something that you actually not the perpetrator but the victim, it hurts more than the act itself. I mean, they don't give a listening ear mm -hmm. to the problems that you are just facing. Mm -hmm. And parents are not to blame for this either. Mm -hmm. We're living in the era of social media and we can't just put this down. Social media is most... Uh, okay, I mean some telegram mm -hmm. channels mm -hmm. that the only thing you see there is porn, mm -hmm. naked ladies, sjui cousins, mm -hmm. they, they, they bring PDFs, sjui mother, son, what, and oh, these people are having sex, mm -hmm. mother, son, tell me, the mindset of someone who has been brought up in uh, the family where you know your father, mm -hmm. you know your mother. Mm -hmm. And that is where your family relations end because you're brought up in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you were just brought up at home but you are separated from those people. And the only thing you know in this life about relationships is series and series of heartbreaks. And then you find someone you think you feel safe with. Mm -hmm. In you fact, who has been there for you throughout all those heartbreaks? All those heartbreaks, <laughs> that's the only <laughs> listening ear that you, you mm -hmm. know. Unajua sometimes ukaliwa as to you get to find that a heartbreak now at my age if i'm heartbroken i rush to my dad mm -hmm. i heard that dad you know one two three happened i think because your fa my father will read me mm -hmm. i tell me daughter you're not fine mm -hmm. what is the problem uh, no i'm just okay mm -hmm. and then when you get the time because of the i mean the time he created to talk to you, the, 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 the space that he gives you when you feel down so you can communicate. That is what we lack. Right now, parents are too busy mm -hmm. to listen. Morning at work, like, they are fathers, Zulu. They are fathers that see their children two hours in a week. Either wanakuja kama watoto wa melala and they get out when the children are still sleeping. Mm -hmm. Or they come when the children are out and they leave when the children are still out. So when I scared to, oh, daddy ndo yule ametoka. You don't have that time to talk to your parents. And this is where this comes in. That cousin that is always there for you. Mm -hmm. Your own brother that is always there 
for you. And compare, Dada, you know, these things do happen, and at least you feel comfortable. Mm. Then things go south. Mm -hmm. You have sex. The problem comes, okay, the, you won't feel the guilt when you are there and you have decided to keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. The guilt comes in when your brother, your cousin who you had sex with, sees you talking to your mother. Mm. Always, this thing is always there. And I say, I'm a sasa na muambia. You see him with his yeah, friends, yeah. the way men are. Uh -huh. Alafu unaka unajuliza, I'm a sasa na ambia mabeshtiaka what happened. Now, that mindset brings the guilt. That is what is really going to break someone Atas down into waki. pieces. Mm -hmm. You start thinking, okay. It is just normal, like other relationships, like so with friends, just the way Zulu was saying, mm. now when they are gone on where they are coming, you start asking yourself, we, we were in a relationship, mm -hmm. you know, that, that kind of mindset. It gives you now that sense of insecurity. After the act, you want always to be with him. Anything popote. Nowhere. That sense of insecurity. Right. So now that is what brings the guilt. That is what breaks mm -hmm. people down, down to pieces. You always think it is now out there. D Doctor, I have a special question for you because the way you're approaching this uh, topic is inspiring me. How to put this? Okay. I have been a victim of this in my life. Is it to me? Sit down, boy. Fine, at a me that a Okay. So, so bad. <laughs> How did I find myself? <laughs> hey, so what happens if there's someone out there who is blatantly saying this is, you know, it's not Christian, it's it's not whatever denomination you want to bring up, it's not African, it's Jewy or traditionally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now, how, how do you start healing someone like that who already is punishing themselves because they know what they've done, them themselves, they're against it. How do you start from there? First of all, accept your humanity mm -hmm. and don't, don't assume an angel like a divine ability <laughs> to project your life. Yeah. I have decided I'll never yes. fornicate. Number yes. two, incest out. Number three, mm -hmm. uh, uh, hey. breaking marriages. Hey. So, so hey. number one, hey. I tell people, don't take yourself too seriously. <laughs> Nobody else does. Aki. We don't take you too My seriously. My number one really loves <laughs> So, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Number two, we are not saying don't set standards for your life. Mm -hmm. We are saying ex set standards for the con kind of conduct you want. But after you set the goals, number two, go set the behaviors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after you decide that mm -hmm. you don't want to sleep with a cousin, there's a cousin in the back of your mind who is a possibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> decide how you're going to relate to that cousin. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, some of the people I, I deal with are one needy people. There's a girl who grew up without, with another father who married the mom. Mm -hmm. But this is not her biological mom. Mm -hmm. When she grew up in the campus, she started desiring for the biological dad. Mm -hmm. But when she finally found him, he's a pervert. He's telling her, Aww, "Me, I, I do, if you are going to relate with you, I'm going to see you as a woman. You uh, must yeah. become my woman, not oh, daughter." No. So, if you realize you have been so needy for no, a person no. in your life, mm. and you, you you know the things you are talking about, incest, they are very they, they really put guilt. Do you know after you have had that kind of sex, you might lose the ability to enjoy sex? What? Yeah, my choice. Mm -hmm. Until you are treated. Okay. If the first experience, if you, the, way, if the way you were introduced into sex this was, is so deep. was incestuous, Oy. you can associate all sex Oy. with those memories. The girl went for honeymoon and her legs would lock Oy. automatically. Yeah, the time she could, designated for what was. Yes. Oh. And they cannot. They would lock automatically. It's Oy. not conscious. Just lock. And then the, 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 she had to go for because many things easy bit to we blocked them because mm. you know it's taboo to talk about them. And mm -hmm. you can't tell anyone. Sometimes yeah. kuna ma, wa mama ukimwambia na kushika akuchape. Mbona ulienda hapo? Mana kuchapa wewe. And you're the victim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mother should do that. Mm -hmm. So, because umeona stance yake about other issues, mm -hmm. you dare not you can't open tell to this anything. one. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them are even abused by a person who is a, probably an uncle, mm -hmm. you know, probably, you know, taken advantage of. Sometimes this girl is, is needy. She's maybe, um, sometimes I, I see parents sending kids for me to orient them as they, as they familiarize with the city, with the university. Mm -hmm. And then this could be a, a relative of mine. So those uncles can take advantage in that situation. Mm -hmm. And the child is too, the girl is too afraid to say. If later on you wake up mm. and we say stop swearing, 
And part of what you have said is called perfectionism. Mm -hmm. We call it turbulence. Mm -hmm. We have a personality test and it gives you one of the traits. Now, while you are talking perfectionism, you will say, how could I do this? Mm. What, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. how to, so one, one, please allow yourself to be human. Mm -hmm. When you have set standards and you set the behaviors, because of the standard I want, I will not do ABCD. Mm -hmm. Say still, should I find myself having fallen into one of these mistakes? Mm -hmm. I will not condemn myself. I will wake up and you know recollect myself and learn. Mistakes are also learning opportunities. Mm -hmm. And you can learn something after the blunder. I, I get girls who, uh, they get a baby without planning. They just got pregnant. Mm -hmm. By accident. Especially 19, 20, 21 <laughs> year old. It's not accident because they did not come by windy pollination. Mm -hmm. You are not working. That's what they usually say. That's what they usually say. And it's not a mosquito <laughs> bite. <laughs> <laughs> that brought the pregnancy. <laughs> Neither did you go dancing and accidentally. <laughs> you danced too close to him. Yes. <laughs> or you dreamt <laughs> and then it happened. Pregnant thoughts. Pregnant so, thoughts. Mm -hmm. Because but we also know that when that thing is happening, we are not normal. Mm -hmm. There is an emotion that has taken over. Mm -hmm. And you don't think of it. And I, I I usually tell them, okay, right. after the, the thing, come back to yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't take yourself too seriously, correct the mistake. I'm so sorry for it's rushing okay. you, so, but here we go with the information on our social media. It's White54 on Facebook, White54 channel, Twitter, hashtag is White in the Morning. So we have a whole bunch of cases. Hi, Val. Hashtag White in the Morning. Tune, what's up with bestiality growing up adults? In, in some words, mimi ni mekuja kujua na siyari. Bestiality, says, that's the first time I heard them learning siyari. Mm -hmm. This kind of ties are toxic and uh, an abomination and totally unacceptable. Such issues make the junior clan elder in me wonder whether the world is coming to an early end. Eh, Edric Oko says this is evil. I think they need a lot of prayers. Apparently, Lazo says prayers. good morning, Val. It's been a while since I shared my sentiments on this platform. I hope you guys are enjoying the show like I am. If the lady was 18 and above, then she should be given the chance to do what she wants with her body. Then again, if she's below 18, there you go. Defilement and all these other things that we are seeing. We have a Vincent Kenya boy saying you have the video. We are going uh, on. So remember at Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is when the morning Jogo Wake says temptation is when you have <laughs> feelings for your cousin. Kweli, is this going to see temptation? Malio <laughs> says, I am not happy at all imagining that it was my daughter. I'm a someone I know so sad. Kanu says, Kirinya Gawa represented Mbeva. Anthony says, Acha. Uh, Acha Ivo, Apa Kwa Ploti, Kiatik, Kiatika, Meolewa Na Kuzo Wake. Baba ya mwanaume ni brother wa mamake bibi yake. Okay, they need to be shown the way na wapewe mawaitha because hiyo ni lana. Wow. You see how we are thinking. Wengina nasema it's an abomination. Lana. Dominic Nganga says, good morning, Kafati Keno were represented as usual. Maina Moe says, na pitia tu. Lucky Pia Barak so represented. Boaz Oyugi says, gari ni gari kwa dereva lakini si poa. Sasa hapo. Ni ukweli, gari ni gari tu. <laughs> okay, Tyler Wallop says, please, number support. Si Yenu, I see you. Baltazari, eh, eh, Ngati says, kufanya mapenzi na kazini yako siyo poa na tigea shon kiwa apa kishushe taita. Eh, some places I've never been. Guys, invite me. Crispin Juma, ati, the tape taught us a lot. <laughs> Sultan Kolo Bazenga says, maybe kazini ni mrembo sana. Okay, we are going to ask the gentleman in studio. Mutaliano wajiji, wacha watu wapambane na hali zao. Sunboy Kenya gave us a little somebody. Taylor Wallop gave us a link. Vicky Rosafi says, uh, Val, wow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> In my opinion, this relationship, should, this relationship should be stopped. Why? Because Africa is an abomination. Ah, okay. There you go. Oh, this relationship one can marry his or her cousin from one family imagine okay i see you and i hear you and also i understand we are coming to a conclusion to the segment so because i'm curious oh that person is just describing female body and surely is it a banana about being illegal we are not talking about whether the law allows mm -hmm. if it, people are waiting the law will not come into much except direct incest, incest eh? mm -hmm. but here we are saying it's about what how it affects you psychologically mm -hmm. because we know people who are stressed about it mm -hmm. and we're also saying that it's not it's about um will it give you a healthy life after that mm -hmm. we are here to help people to avoid the pitfalls that they may not see when they're on this side mm -hmm. when we give them the enlightenment then they'll be able to make better better decisions 
Now that you're so wise, sir, how do we find you on social media so that we can uh, think, get uh, some more wisdom? Benjamin Zulu KE mm -hmm. on all social media platforms. Benjamin Zulu KE. Gmail, Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. Website, Benjamin Zulu KE dot com. Miss Mbengi. How do we find you on social media? On social media handles, mm -hmm. I go by the name Raylo Benga mm -hmm. on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, Sir George? Uh, find me Facebook, mm -hmm. George Kamau, mm -hmm. and WhatsApp. Only use those two platforms. Facebook and WhatsApp? Yeah. Me have Pesa Pia, your WhatsApp? Mm. Uh, it's okay. Are you shy? Sure? No, I'm okay. Ah, ah. Sorry, will you go to Penny Apesa? No. Ah, at Y254 Facebook, at Y254 channel, Twitter hashtag is one of money. Thank you for being with us. You could have been anywhere else. We are having a repeat from tomorrow onwards from 2 p.m. And tomorrow is Entrepreneur Tuesday, so you don't want to miss that either. But right now, we wish you an amazing week ahead and have a fantastic day.